All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaKodash, Level of Young. Double honors to the elders, apostles, and bishops of Great Millstone who teach them well in these last days and who are the true leaders in the of Israel. I'm going to give a strong Shalom to all the occupants of the four corners of the earth, pushing this word in truth and sincerity, making a call and election sure. And I'm going to give a humble citation to the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, this is Brother Mashal. Come back at you with a quick lesson through the spirit of power of Yahweh, Bashim Shai. I want to say to Wadi, Yahweh, Bashim Shai, forgive me, spirit, through this lesson. And, um, you know, I just want to, uh, you know, just touch on the topic, man, you know what I'm saying, about being, you know, uh, spiritually and, and, and physically dead, man, all right? So you're going to have a group of people that uh, fit this category, all right? And this is why um, the scripture's saying in, uh, in the epistle of Peter is that the, the, you know, let's get that first. Um, first Peter... Uh, chapter four, I think it is. Let's see. And verse 17. It says, uh, first Peter four and 17, it says for the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the most high. And if it be, and if it first be at us, what shall the end be of them? Obey not the gospel of the heavenly father. All right. So see judgment is going to start in the house of Israel. All right, the house of the heavenly Father. So when 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 judgment comes, you know you you're you're you're, you're going to be numbered to that sword. All right, and this is the physical this is the physical part of of being dead because when you when you when you commit, uh, the scripture says let's let's get that real quick, um, that we we uh, we commit sin uh, iniquity like water. Uh, Job 15 and verse 16, it says, uh, how much more abominable and filthy is man with drink of iniquity like water. All right. So us as the um, as a hopeful elect, you know, what I'm saying, you know, we 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 try to do the things that that uh, that keep us from drinking iniquity like water. All right. Instead of drinking iniquity like water, we're we're we're, we're trying to uh, we're trying to drink this this living water. So, all right. This this knowledge and wisdom of the heavenly scripture so we can get the hell up out of here, man. All right, that's that's the whole point of the, this this whole this this whole walk. All right, and and people that are not um, you know, carn uh, spiritually minded won't won't get this. All right, so when we go to uh, let's go to Revelation real quick. Revelations uh, chapter eleven. All right, this is uh, in verse 8. It says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where, uh, where also our Lord was crucified. All right, and this is Sodom and Egypt. All right, because of the, the ways of, of what happened with Sodom and with uh, Gomorrah, okay, in the days of Lot, and, they, and, and, and because of the spiritual uh, uh, bondage, man, the, the affliction that what happened in Egypt. Okay, so this is, this is, this is spiritual Sodom and, and spiritual Egypt. All right, well, also the Lord was crucified because of the image and the, the, the doctrine of what Yahweh Shai brings was, is, is being crucified every day. All right, so our dead bodies is, is going to lie in that uh, in the street of the great city, and that street, that great city is Babylon, man, okay? We are, we're, we're in spiritual Babylon now, the daughter of Babylon. All right, and it says, and, that, and they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to put in graves. Okay? So we're, we, we were going to be uh, uh, dormant for uh, 350 uh, years. Okay? That that uh, three three days and a half is a spiritual uh, spiritual number. Okay? Not a literal three days and a half. All right? So we had to go through this uh, captivity and bondage. Um you know, for, for three, 350 years. Okay. So it says, um, verse 11, it says, and after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the heavenly father entered into them and they stood up on their feet and great fear, uh, fell upon them, which saw them. All right. And that's, that's, um, the beginning of, of, uh, elder Abba Bivens. All right. When, when he brought the new Testament to, uh, you know, uh, to the fold, all right, and and, and connected and, and and connected, man, all right, and then that's when this thing started taking off, 
All right. So we so us um, as 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 workers of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, you know what I'm saying? We've entered into other men's labors. All right. So the so you know Abba Bevins, you know what I'm saying? Then the, then then the the one his his students after him, then the students after him, you know, to all the way until right now. All right. So that that tabernacle of David is being risen, man. You know, uh, let's go to um, Amos, uh, chapter nine. In verse eleven, it says, "In in that day, I will raise up the tabernacle of David." See, so now the spirit of 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 life entered in, into us after three hundred and fifty years. All right, and we've been we've been. Uh, taught the correct doctrine. All right, you know it's it's been, um, you know, uh, you know everything has wasn't always known at the beginning until until the elders apostles have have uh you know made it known. All right, so now we were uh that tabernacle of David is being risen, and uh, that's that's the uh, the dead bodies being being uh being raised up. Okay, Ezekiel talked about it in Ezekiel 37 about the, the Valley of Dry Bones. Um, it says, uh, verse 11, it says, In that day I will raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as the days of old. All right, and that tabernacle of David is uh, being rebuilt with it, uh, as in the days of old, which which uh, which entails everything, man. Okay, the, the, the order, all right, the... Uh, like you know, like everything be done decently in order, you know what I'm saying, and 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 in and in righteousness, all right? It's because when when David was ruling, you know, after a period of time when uh his rulership began, that that's when, you know, you, we had 30 years of peace, man. All right. So now you how Shai will sit on the throne of King David. So, you know, and uh so King, uh, King David will will be uh second in command under Yahweh Shai. Okay, and then you're gonna have the 144,000 elect men, who will be the righteous uh, rulers and teachers on, on this earth, man. When the Yahweh Shai becomes to establish righteousness. All right, so that tabernacle of David, David is being risen after that that period of 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 us being spiritually asleep. You know, spiritually dead. All right, you know what? Let's just go ahead and um. Get Ezekiel 37. And I'm not going to read through the whole thing just for the uh, sake of time, but this, uh, if you if you're not familiar with Ezekiel 37, it's, it's it's um you know it's a it's a really good good chapter, a really well known chapter. Um, verse one. It says the hand of the Lord was upon me and, and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. It says and caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many. In the open valley, and lo, they were very dry, because these bones represent the house of Israel. Okay, and they're very dry. Why? Because we we are without that living water. Okay, and that living water is Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Okay, the doctrine. The doctrine is like water. It says, um, verse three, and he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again, he said to me, prophesy upon these bones and saying to them, oh, you dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. You see, so that that the word of Yahweh Bashim Ashai is that living water, man. Okay, so that's why in Job 15, it says, you know, that, that we, we've we drunk iniquity like water. All right, we're not, we're not, we're not doing that no more. You know, the two thirds is just still doing the, the silly stuff, man, that, that, that keeps them uh, 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 in, in a state of uh, confusion, man, in a state of babble. Okay, that's why we're in the, the in the in the modern day Babylon now. Okay, the, the the daughter of Babylon. All right, so this is this is the uh, the the water that we need, man. Okay, anything that survives needs water. So let's um, keep going real quick and um, verse five. 
It says, Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. You know? So that's what I'm gonna stop right there. But um Yeah, but that's that's a really good chapter to uh to read. Um let's go to uh Genesis real quick, chapter two, because it's the same thing that happened to Adam, okay? Uh Genesis two and verse seven it says, And the Lord God for a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. You see? So you need that you need that breath. Okay? You need that living water, which is this doctrine, all right? Because Adam the the uh, the breath that Adam uh received was the law of the commandments because Adam was the first chosen man of Yahweh Bashim Shai out of all the people that was on the earth. Okay? To start the 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 uh the lineage of Yahweh Shai. Okay, and this is why you have the, the lineage of Yahweh Shah goes all the way back to Adam. Because it's a seed line. Okay? That had that that uh that breath of life. Okay, Adam, which was the Yahweh Shah in the uh in the carnation, um, you know, had that uh that breath, okay? And Yahweh Shah died for us to keep that breath. All right, so when we go to um, what's that? Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, uh, the seventh chapter. Uh, verse twenty-four. It says, "For wisdom is more moving than than any motion. She passeth and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness." For she is the breath of the power of the Most High, and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, can no undefiled thing fall into her. You see, so this is so so. This is wisdom, okay? Wisdom is more moving. Uh, is the breath of the Almighty, man? Okay. So when that when so when you when so when Yahweh Bashi Mashiach breathed that breath of life, you know it it was it was wisdom. Okay, and wisdom is his knowledge. Uh, these laws, such the commandments, the, the the knowledge of this of this truth. All right, the doctrine, and ultimately all that 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 rolls under Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai is all that ro rolled into one. All right, so we need that breath. That this is what the the dead bodies were uh were lacking uh in the in the valley full of dry bones, man. All right, and uh, real quick, we're going to close it out. Um, so without that breath, you know, you're going you're gonna to have, uh, you know, different, uh, you know, bug outs, man. All right, they may be the, uh, you know, the loud mouth, you know, doing all type of wickedness out here, or they may be some scoffers on, it, on, on you know, on brothers' pages, man. You know, so you gonna have reprobates out here. You know what I'm saying? But they're 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 they're. This is why I'm about to get this because when you read uh, Proverbs 21, in verse 16, it says, "The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead." All right. So when you wander out of the way that understanding, all right, you're gonna remain in the congregation of the dead. So you're not. I mean that you you're you're, you're two thirds. Okay, so now we we understand what what being you know physically physically dead, you know because they're they're numbered they're they're two thirds man they drink a water uh, iniquity like water. All right, and now we understand the spiritually dead man. So we gonna we gonna have brothers out here that's that's spiritually dead man. You know they walking they they kicking it you know what I'm saying but 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 really man they 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 uh they lack it. You know. So, you know, that's why we got to hold fast, man. Most high willing assessment was edifying. I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Racha HaKwadash. Lev Lam Yom. Double understood. That was in the possible great millstone. I want to say, Kwame Shurala. Baba Ba. Shalom.